city for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with orange, official weight, 174 and one half pounds. This Olympic silver medalist has a professional record of 52 victories, including 38 knockouts with four defeats, and he has captured eight world championship belts. From Pensacola, Florida, a future Hall of Famer, the former middleweight world champion, former super middleweight world champion, former light heavyweight world champion, and former heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing blue with white. Official weight, 174, one half pounds. A perfect professional record consisting of 45 bouts. 45 victories, including 32 knockouts, and he has been a world champion for more than a decade. Introducing the future Hall of Fame fighting pride of Newbridge, Wales, former undisputed super middleweight world champion and reigning, defending, undefeated, light heavyweight champion of the world, Joe. Just one. Okay, gentlemen, we know the rules of the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. Touch him up, the bell rings, come out fighting. When Roy Jones Jr. was in his prime, he was so good, we didn't know if he was great. Could he overcome adversity? Could he beat the odds? The odds are against him tonight. Okay, gentlemen. Look. Rarely have two fighters more visibly projected confidence before the opening bell. And immediately, Kalzaki chases Jones to the ropes, missing, missing with a sweeping left hand. One problem for Jones in the fight, how to find ways to deal with the greater frequency of Kalzaki's punches. He says he can do it with power. Well, I think Jones' attitude is right in this fight. You know, the, the thing is, both guys have fast hands, and I think Jones has a little bit more crack in his shot than Calzaghe. And at this stage right now, Calzaghe is fighting the fight that he wants to fight, and Jones is fighting the fight that he wants to fight. Jones is basically going to try to make Calzaghe burn himself out by throwing a lot of punches, and then what explode with his own combination on the counter defense and counter move. Jones has always had devastating power, the reason he hasn't scored even more knockouts is because he thinks safety first oftentimes. So they want to expose himself to danger. Right, and he would turn it in. Should have been hurt it quite a few occasions, but he would back off because he knew if he threw a few more punches, he'd be taking the risk of getting hit himself. 38 knockouts in 52 wins for Jones. However, no knockouts since February of 2002. It's been six years, nine months since Jones has knocked out and that's because he hasn't been committing to his big punches well he landed the only real punch of this round so far a counter right hand but he also gives up Kalzaki lands inside yeah. and particularly to the body Kalzaki is landing his stuff well to the elbow I haven't seen too many clean shots even downstairs from Kalzaki at least not to my eye work out of it work out of it Break. Kazaki 
knows that Jones is quicker in the center of the ring, and down goes Dalzaki. Just as he was down in the first round against Hopkins, he's down in the first round against Jones. And Jones makes his point that he uh, can hurt Kalzaki in but, flurries but, inside. But he may not make it out of this one like he did with the Hopkins. That's right. He was oh, much more at, hurt. He's, he's seriously hurt. The other one's more of a flash knockdown. Much more badly hurt than against Hopkins. And fighting rather than trying to get away. Kalzaki's going to take the chance that he can keep fighting with Jones after taking a big shot. Well, and he goes forward, waiting in. But Jones is going to have a 10-8 round with which to begin the fight. But this is not something that Jones likes to do, so he may end up, if he doesn't stop Kazaki, getting in trouble himself. An amazing turn of events in round one. He's working the jab a little bit more. You'll be able to see a lot of stuff. He's flinching on you when you jab at him. Paint and go. Paint front. Here we see Roy Jones land the jab in the eye, which really obstructed the vision of Kazaghi. And then as Kazaghi was going down, he got hit with a punch that Jones just shot in anticipation of the way his head was going to be. Perfect punch. Although it looked like he hit him with his wrist. Yeah, forearm. But it's just he didn't see it. You know what I mean? He didn't see the punch. So there's blood on the bridge of Kazaghi's nose. He's already been down in round one. Jones has a confidence builder. And just as was the case against Hopkins, Kalzaki has to dig out of a hole. Copy box numbers in the first round, Kalzaki 13 out of 58, Jones 9 out of 34. You can expect to see Joe try to boost his punch output and go to a higher number. Watch the feet, watch the feet. clear that even having already been down, Kalzaki still wants to be the aggressor. But you know, Kalzaki has never lost a fight, and I think he's probably been down about four times in fights. This shows that he does have the ability to come back. And at this stage right now, still, the fight is like, to me, a toss-up fight. It could go either way. Down in the first round against Chris Eubank, won the fight. Down in the second round against Byron Mitchell, knocked Mitchell out in that round. Has shown the capacity to come back to understand how spectacular Roy was at his best. He's not nearly as fast now as he was, and yet he's out beating Joe Calzaghe, who I thought was the fastest light heavyweight around, at least this side of Chad Dawson. Come on, let it go, let it go, let but go. can he do it over the long stretch of the fight if Calzaghe can make it go round? And here's what will hurt yep. Jones most if it keeps up. When he leans against the ropes and puts his hands up and lets Joe throw, break, break. Joe gets to pile up points. Well, you know, Joe still is very much in this fight. And because he still, I don't know, Roy can go at this pace himself, because Joe's going to go at this pace all night. He may be a little sloppy sometimes in his defense, but Roy, as we said earlier, break. hasn't knocked out anybody in a long time. Going to knock down is one thing, but a knockout is different. This time, Kalzaki break. slips to Joe's break. right hand and lands a couple of little body shots inside. It's abundantly clear it's a different fight in the center of the ring than when they go to the ropes. And Kalzaki seems to have his legs under him now and a greater ability to withstand what Jones throws. Jones lands another right-hand shot that brings people out of their seats. At this point of the fight, I think Roy Jones is making Joe Kalzaki look like a washed-up Felix Trinidad. Break! Seems to be countering well, picking off most of Kalzaghi's shots. Although, of course, Jim, you're right. In the middle of the ring, it's more obvious, I think, Roy's advantage is in clean punches. Bring him up, bring him up. Blood trickling down Kalzaghi's nose. Jones backing into the ropes and giving Kalzaghi a chance to just go away. Many of the punches blocked, but some of them landed on the ribcage. That's out of that one 
good, beautiful, clean right hand that Roy landed. He didn't do too much more in that round. Cut a possibly still went to Calzaghe. I thought Joe had worked it. Roy's punch was just a very good flash. Yeah, attention getting punched. Try to stay on his right shoulder just a little bit more. Yeah, stay on his right shoulder a little bit more, okay? Don't sway up too much. He can't hit you, but don't sway up too much over there on his left hand, okay? Huh? Don't sway up on his left hand. Stay on his right shoulder a little bit more. You go get there, baby, get your hook in. Yeah, stay on, stay on his right shoulder. Just line up on his right shoulder. Yeah, yeah. You'll be able to get the hook in. He's dropping that right hand quite a bit. Huh? So Emma Larvin, Joe Kalzaki's girlfriend, one of the stars at 24-7. Much to worry about early in the fight. Let's go. Clear the corner. How many times have you seen the fighter's wife or the fighter's girlfriend unconsciously put her hands in the frame position? And apropos of what you said, Emmanuel Stewart in the second round by CompuBox numbers, Kalzaki landing 23 of 76, Jones 8 of 34. However, Harold Letterman gave the round to Jones on his scorecard. That would put Kalzaki three points in the hole in a fight in which he hopes to dominate the second half of the fight. Good body shot by Kalzaki. Left hand upstairs by Kalzaki. Over the last half round or so, Kalzaghi is landing much cleaner to the body. And he gives judges every reason to score for him, Joe Kalzaghi does. Come on, work out of it, work out of it. Good body shot by Jones. Kalzaghi unfazed. Goes at him with his hands held low. You know, it, it Roy's punch is a much more flashy and much more powerful. But, you know, and well, he throws really one punch at a time, and Kalzaki throws six. And that's what I'm saying, and I, I don't know if it's, he's ever fought anybody like this. Now, Kalzaki is not just, he's a big man. You know, it's, a, it's very, very difficult to just take punches from a star, power guy like that. Kalzaki showboating in the center of the ring. You ever thought you'd see that with an opponent against Roy Jones? Good right hand by Jones. Hard body shot before that by Kalzaki. This is what I expected Roy to do, boy. He was cover up, walk him down, and try to force Calzaghe to burn himself out by throwing so many punches while he's blocking him. Calzaghe taking Jones's punches much better now. And landing when he fires back. Hacking Jones's guard out of the way with the right hand there. Kazagi is standing in front of Roy Jones with his hands down, showboating, and carrying the round. Watch his shoulder. I don't think either fighter has ever fought anyone with the speed that the, 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 the opponent has tonight. It's abundantly clear, at least with body language, Kalzaki is trying to portray to the audience and to the judges that he has weathered the storm, that he understands what's up with Jones now, that he's not faced by what happened in round one, that he can swap Jones with punch count from here. He has dominated round three. <laughs> we got to land some big shots behind this shit. Okay? Make him pay. Make him pay. He's staying on the gun. Now you're going to be able to hit him with some stuff. Oh, yeah. All right. Don't give it no bleeding pain. All right? Okay, Joe. All right? Yeah. You're back in that good. Feeling good, mate? Feeling good? Oh, my mouth. Okay, oh, my. Oh, my God. Have oh, a good mouth. round, Joe. Here, here we can see both guys doing pretty much what I expected. Kazag is throwing a lot of punches, showboating, dropping his hands. And I think it's, it's, it's really not that they're showboating. This is just part of each one of these fight of style. And that was exactly the kind of round Kalzaki wants to fight. CompuBox numbers in the round. Kalzaki landing 35 of 100.
107 punches thrown. Jones, 16 of 42. Kawasaki, 28 out of 85 power shots. Harold, how do you have it through three? I'll get you. Two rounds to one. 29, 27, Roy Jones. You know, you got to give him an extra push for that first round. The second round, I thought Joe still was a little bit stunned, and Roy hurt him. But the third round, oh, my God. Joe Kawasaki put on a performance. I, I, I mean, the guy is so good. Just incredible third round. Anyway, two to one, Roy Jones. Jim, I think you nailed it when you said Kalzagi showboating. He has to dig himself out of a hole in the cards, yes, but also psychologically, he's demonstrating that he is not showing ill effects of the punch and that he is, in fact, the guy in charge. Well, actually, he's the Roy's never had anyone do this to him. He's actually making Roy miss. He's intimidating Roy. He's hitting Roy, Roy, Roy with punches. And to me, outside of the first round, he's won, even though you may not have given it to him, I thought he's won all of the other rounds because he's just outworking Roy. I think it's possible that some judges could have given him the second round, and right now, his hand speed is accelerating, and Jones is slowing down. Now, Jones may be yeah. looking for a way to pick a spot. And, and Roy is having a problem of trying to time Joe's hand. Joe's hand speed is bothering Roy. And keep in mind, too, I mean, Joe was not knocked Joe, down by Joe. a punch. She was knocked down by a, a <laughs> forearm or a wrist. No part of the glove actually hit him in the face. The corner has done a pretty good job so far of stanching the bleeding along the right side of his nose. So things are going right. well for Kalzaki again as we go into the fourth round. But again, he's digging himself out of the hole, having fallen behind in the first and maybe the second round. And you never know when Jones may lay another trap for him. Question is... As Kalzaki now tasted Jones' power to such an extent that he won't be shocked if he gets hit again, hit again with something he doesn't see. I believe that's it. We look at the history of Kalzaki. He's always been that way. He would get hurt early and always come back. And, but I, I just think that his speed and his ring generalship is bothering Roy. Roy's never, never experienced this. And I think that the fact that Joe can do this all night. That's right. You don't expect Kalzaki to slow down. No. Kessler waited for it to happen. And Kalzaki just kept building the tempo. And now he's attacking Jones with impunity in the corner. And throwing three and four punch combinations, which Jones tries to fend off one shot at a time. He's beating Roy in every way at this point. Really. Good hard right hand by Jones. With his hand up down. It may not be wise for him not to worry about Jones's power, but he's trying to portray that he's not worried about Jones's power. Baby, good evening, Jones. Yeah, baby. How are you calling you? He's sucking everything out of him. He's sucking everything out of him. The paint is killing him. All his paint is doing is killing him, right? The left hand's working wonderful training, right? The right hand's working up. Are you doing that, Jones? Yeah. Is Okay. I just got a fight. I just got a fight moving back. I just got a fight moving back. Okay. Okay. Here you see Cal Zaggy get hit with punches by Roy, but I don't think they landed that clean because Ro Joe was rolling his body with the punches. And numbers aren't Stop. everything. Punch Somebody count isn't everything. Water. But by CompuBox count, Kalzaki outlanded Jones 74-27 in the last two rounds. So on Harold Letterman's scorecard, he climbs back to within a point. If you're a judge who gave Kalzaki the second round, which is possible, he would now be ahead in the fight. If you're a Roy Jones fan, I think you have to be hoping that he catches Joe coming in with something hard, particularly when Joe is standing as he is now with his guard down. he really totally disrespects Jones's power, but I think he wants to show the ringside people that he disrespects Jones's power by way of making a point that he's not bothered by what happened in round one. And maybe show Roy that he doesn't respect his power. Good straight left hand by Kalzaki. Three right hands to the body. Combination upstairs. Jones fires back with one right hand. 
This was the basic equation coming into the fight. A fighter who is comfortable throwing 75 punches around against a fighter who customarily throws 35 to 40. How do you rework the equation in your favor well, if you're Jones? Well, Roy, Roy has not been that successful in landing too many clean punches. Even the punches the last round that, you know, we gave him credit for, I think the fact that the scene was rolled away by Kazak, and Kazak is doing what he wants to do at this stage right now. I can't believe how he's dropping his hands and getting away with that with Roy Jones. But Roy's uh, contact percentage has got to be very low. He's throwing punches, but he cannot hit Kazak. There's a hard right hand by Jones. Kalzaki comes back working the body. Kalzaki blocks a couple Jones shots and slips the right hand there. Frank! No. Oh. Body shots by Kalzaki. Jones backs away. Joe hasn't landed anything really solid upstairs in a while. And he takes another hard right hand shot by Jones. This round may be on the table with 50 seconds to go. Kalzaki begins to try to apply his volume formula to it. Well, I would have to give Roy so far this, this round here the way it's going. At this point, why would Roy allow someone to stand in front of him with his hands down when he can punch is beyond me? Well, that's his way of trying to make Kalzaki get tired. Kalzaki lands a big left yep. hand. Yep. Now the round belongs to the Welshman. Yep. Jones lands a left off the, off the rope. Jones's left eye is starting to swell. Jones is being physically beaten as well as our punch. Hard right hand by Jones. Kalzaki with the right hand. They're going to fight down the stretch of the round. Tough round. And Kalzaki tries to nail it down with a flurry at the finish. Jones with one more big counter shot. What a round. Both fighters made statements there. Penny patting, you feel him on the outside with your hands. Run some off the middle, champ. He, he penny patting a lot, but stay on his right shoulder. Move to your left. Come on, try to get the hook in. If you feel that stuff on the outside, run some strong off to the inside because his punches is wide. I know, I know for five or four rounds this guy's gone. Yeah. But don't be nothing careless. Don't yeah. be careless. Good job. Yeah, Good job, Joe. Yeah. Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with yourself? Here you see Joe Calzaghe throwing a lot of punches and missing a lot, but eventually he starts coming through with that straight left hand. And, you know, and if he can keep connecting like that, which I think he's going to be doing a lot more of that, Roy's going to have a rough time corner. tonight. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. numbers on power shots in round five. Calzaghe, 20 out of 58. Jones, 18 out of 33. Calzaghe with a 12 nothing edge in jazz. Jones had his moments in that round, but as you see, Harold Letterman gave it to Kalzaki. Once again, the activity rate puts Jones on the defensive. swelling above the left eye of Roy Jones. Calzaghe with the blood stop outside his nose on the right side looks pretty good. Pattern of the fight established as Calzaghe stalks and Jones looks to counter. Jones must have made a pretty good point the last round because Galzaki is suddenly treating him with more respect. R right, Roy's main punch in this fight has been the right hand, particularly the right hand lead, which he does so effectively. He's always gotten away with that. He's having problems getting, getting that punch in with Calzaki, and that's got him all off track because he's not really jabbing much. He's not throwing left hook. It's the right hand lead that he's trying to, and that, that's not working. So he's, he's having a problem with trying to anything that can be effective. And slowly, imperceptibly, Emmanuel, it just appears to me that Kalzaki's body attack is beginning oh, oh. to take its toll. Jones looks yeah. a little bit more labored than at the beginning. And also, Kalzaki's rhythm, his in and out rhythm, it's not that easy to time. You know, 
he's not just a guy that's walking in flat footed before you can pan in this one. He comes in and out, and, and he has his own good defense in it. And oh, to me, that right. Roy is occasionally, when he circles, especially landing that lead right hand, it doesn't look like it's having a tremendous effect on Joe. No, Joe. And that may be having an effect on Roy. Definitely. Well, that's the main thing he worked on, and I'm quite sure Joe doesn't have studied him very well and, and learned that that's the main punch they have to look at is for the little sneak right here and lead. And they've taken his best weapon away from him. And when you do that with any fighter, you know, it, it, it makes him, there it is again. Right. And he's not been effective with it. Remember, Calzaki is the master of making mid-fight adjustments to turn the tactical equation in his favor. Takes a big uppercut there. Excellent punch by Jones. And maybe Jones has found another way to land his right hand. And Joe fights back the way he's most accustomed to by piling punches off. There's Bernard Hopkins sitting at ringside three weeks after his amazing triumph over Kelly Pavlik. A lot at stake for Hopkins in the eyes of many who think that maybe he would be a logical opponent for Roy Jones if, in fact, Jones can get past Kalzaki and win the fight. Hopkins picked Jones to win the fight, publicly proclaiming that Jones has greater power Come and on, should win. Come on, nice strong stuff on the inside. Don't go for the one big shot, okay? He's coming right back. Look, check this out. When he, when you finish hitting him, if you go do that pillar fight and stuff, tie him up. Keep turning. Stay on his... Here you see Roy Jones laying a beautiful time uppercut right through the defense of Kazakis and Joe least expected it. But beyond that punch, which was the best punch of the round, it wasn't too much landed by Jones. While according to CompuBox numbers, Kazaki landed 30 blows and threw 91. And again, judges can see how many punches are thrown way more effectively than they, than they can see what lands. We're halfway through the fight. Going by fast. Harold, how do you have it? Look at him. 57, 56, four rounds to two. Joe Calzaghe. Give, you just can't take it away from him. He throws so many punches in each and every round. Roy Jones lands one good, two, one, two, three good right hands in a round. But other than that, the activity of Joe Calzaghe has to be winning this fight. I mean, I thought Roy deserved an extra point for round one. I thought Roy stunned him in round two. But after that, Joe Calzaghe throwing too many. Four to two, Calzaghe on clean punches. Calzaghe a little bit slower, more tactical, more selective here at the beginning of round seven. Obviously still sees Jones as a dangerous quantity in there. Clearly Jones is not as good as he once was. Against Tarver in their third fight, there were opportunities for Roy to win, and he didn't take advantage of them. He's not as good as he was. The question remains, how great is he? Joe is starting to get through with that left hand. Roy's going straight back now, and his reflexes are not what they used to be. And Joe Calzag is coming straight through with that one-two. And Good so right, left right, by yeah. Jones, another one. But prior to that, Jones was having trouble seeing Calzaghe's left stomach. And, and can Joe Roy overcome adversity, which he didn't have to do at his best? He has plenty of it here. Well, that's a good fight. That's a really, you know, I really to predict the outcome of this fight is going to be very hard. So Roy still this punch with sharp, clean punches. And uh, solid left Joe hand by Calzaghe follows it up with a couple of body shots. Another flurry by Calzaghe drives Jones back against the ropes. Roy may be momentarily hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Straight left. Blood above the left eye of Roy Jones. Calzaghe's punch is starting to do more damage. Calzaghe grins as he goes back to the line. Jones has landed a couple of good counter shots, but Kalzaki is wearing Jones down with the constant assault. Again, the hand speed flurries by Kalzaki. Jones gets him off with one punch. Kalzaki dropping his hands and staring at Jones and watching the blood flow and going back to work. And, and, and all this said, Roy is fighting valiantly here. He's, He's fighting. fighting hard. I've never thought Roy Jones cut. But I've never thought him knocked out until they got knocked out by Tava Calzaghe and by Jones. Now showboating again, taunting Jones as he pushes him into the corner. Jones is landing good, oh, solid counter shots, and Calzaghe now is walking through them. Yeah, the, the signature punch right now is a straight left hand up to kill Calzaghe. Bring it up, bring it up!
thumb cut above the left eye. Galzaki worked it and worked it and finally got us to open up. Okay, give me a towel. Give me a wet towel. Okay, you just got a little nick, champ. They call me the Yeah. Keep them hands up on the inside, baby. Don't drop them, okay? All right? Look, when you finish punching, time up and turn him like I told you. We're going to start that flurry after you come. Don't watch, don't watch the medicine out of place. This is a straight one-two that I was saying early in the round when I saw the Kazakh was hand and he landed it straight in the eye, and I think that's what caused all of the damage to the eye. Perfect left hand, and you're going to see more of that same punch coming in in the next couple of rounds, probably. Copy box numbers in seven. Jones landed more than half his punches. Hold it hard. 22 out of 41. Hold it. Hold it. But Kalzaki Hold it. was 38 out of 72. A 53% connect rate. Oh more than 70 punches thrown. Very oh. hard for Jones to compete with that kind of assault. Okay. Okay. You know, Max right. Kellerman, I think Let's I did go. see Jones Let's once come back punch. from adversity. Right. The last two rounds of his first fight against Antonio Tarver. Yes. When he absolutely had to win those rounds to win the fight. And he went out and made his point one body punch at a time. He, he did. I don't quite think it's exactly the same dynamic here. Tarver was not applying this kind of pressure. Tarver at the time was not considered this kind of fighter. Roy was not this cut and this hurt in that fight. But you're right. Okay. He did demonstrate in that fight the kind of fighting Thank heart you. we like to see in our great champion. Tarver Thank didn't have the kind of speed of and relentlessness right. that Kalzaki had. Exactly. Kazak is a whole different guy. His, his mindset, he's that of a winner. He's, he's very, and, and I'm surprised how physically strong he looks in bigger than Roy, too. But, but he's, a, he's a totally different, different fighter than in, in Tarver. Off the top of my head, in 57 Roy Jones fights, I want to say this is the worst cut I've ever seen him experience. They did not manage to do anything close to stopping the bleeding between rounds. And Jones starts to seem to show a sense of desperation as his feet and hands begin to move faster. Yeah, in, in, in the Tarver fight, in the third fight, there was a kind of a concession on Roy's part. I don't see him conceding here. He's still trying to win. Absolutely. Fighting with more will and heart than was the case against Tarver or Glenn Johnson. Break! Stay in front! Stay in front! And we just got word from Roy Jones' trainer, Alton Merkerson, no, he's never been cut. <laughs> and obviously, nothing ever like this. No, I've never seen him cut, and I've been watching him fight since he was a 15-year-old kid in the tournament. Never saw him cut. That straight left hand of Kazak is the puncher that right now he's better watch out for. A and challenge it, it, for Jones, and a chance to show right. a kind of valor that he's never before had to show. And there is redemption on, in that, in terms of criticism Come he made received in the past for not fighting Stop this talking. way. Uh, but it's not the same thing as winning the fight, coming back to win. Still far from over. Perhaps, depending on how long he can go with that cut. Kalzaki has taken a little bit of a vacation this round, but now begins to apply the pressure again. Well, I feel he's got control over the fight in every way. And when he's able to push Jones into corners, he's totally in control. And now, the combinations and the hand speed, and Jones looking to land one big shot. Kalzaki wrestling him into position, dodging the left hook, firing away again. He's swamping Jones with activity and willpower and desire.
even though Calzag didn't throw a lot of punches this round, he was placing his punches in the shoulder. He looked like he was targeting to the left eye and placing his punches very selectively. How much longer do you let Jones go with that cut, Emmanuel? And you know, I don't think I don't know see what they're doing. I don't see him using the adrenaline. I don't know what they're using, or if anything, to 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 do anything to stop the cut. Okay. Hold on, hold on. This is a great, great fighter. Yeah, I what? think it was Dr. Vernon Jordan up there, but I don't think this fight's going to go much longer. This is an icon in the sport. So you don't want to see him badly hurt. You don't want to see Kalzaki get too many free shots against an eye that is bleeding that badly. Rocky Marciano's nose is hanging off his face. Seventh round of the Ezra Charles fight. The ref said you have one more round. He knocked Charles out. Those are the kind of dramatic moments in a great fighter's career that people remember. Of course, Roy is almost 40 years old, facing a younger, fresher man. But you know what? Roy's still fighting to win. There's a lot of guys like this who just be on the defense, especially at this age, you know, I can't take a risk with him, but he's trying to win this fight. You realize, yeah. I think, that this is his last chance on this fight. stage. And here's how difficult the prospect has now become. In oh, 32 go, Roy Jones fights tracked by Dante Bach, Kalzaki has now landed more punches than anyone has ever landed against him. 244 shots. I, I wouldn't be oh, surprised if you excluded Tarver and Johnson Break. if you said combined. It's an onslaught of the kind that Jones has seldom, if ever, had to face. And certainly not on a sustained minute-by-minute -minute basis. But this is what he can do. As long as he was aggressive going forward, Kazaki didn't do anything, but he cannot bag back to the ropes and let go get his momentum again. But I don't think he can do anything about it at this stage. Well, Joe does give him chances by dropping his hands like that, and Roy can punch with both hands. But it's Joe who's doing the punching, and Roy who's having to cover up. Jones shaking his head. Right. He asks his trainer between rounds, is the eye closed? As if he can't see well enough to know and I don't, his I, eye I, is I, I, I can't believe a big, big super soft fighter like this. It seems like there's no one in the corner doing anything for a cut. Even if they're between rounds, they're trying to go ahead and find someone else, another trainer, and get some coagulants or something. Well, he's always done it his way. He's always been his own boss. No big name promoter. No big name trainer. The king of Roy Jones's world was always Roy Jones. Break! Five previous appearances in Madison Square Garden, he won them all. Came into the ring tonight and knocked Kalzaki down in the first round. It might have been another road to glory. But then, reality started to set in. Nowhere in the world is reality as cruel as in a boxing ring. One more big right hand to punctuate the round for Kalzaki. And Jones, streaming blood, returns to his corner. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm closer. Oh, you got a lot of on him, though. Let me put some pressure on him, dog. All right. Do it here. I got it. Keep your eye closed, champ. All right. Keep your eye closed. Huh? Wipe that blood off his face, Al. Head good up. Head good up. Back of hell. Not with the water. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Pacing towards you in the second round. Now, now let's get it into the spirit. Yeah. And I want, left, I want him out from left. There's nothing left in him. Just wait. I got to get his face clean, dog. Keep him long, Cam. Try to hit him with some long shots. Okay, I'll tap him. He's off on him. Let's him with the hook. Okay. All right, second, third corner. Let's go. Go, Fox! Kalzaki begins the tenth round with a couple of body shots. Harold 
Letterman, how do you have it coming to the 10th? Look at Jim, 87, 83, up, seven up, rounds to two. Joe Calzaghe. Jim, Roy Jones Jr. uses a physician in the corner to stop cuts. But Dr. Richard Lucy is on the right-hand side of the apron, and the cut is on the left-hand side. And I don't know why you want Murkison doesn't get out of that ring and let the doctor work in front of him and stop that bleeding. But be as it may, Joe Calzaghe running away with the fight. you got to wonder how much longer they're going to let this go because Roy's taking a beating. 7-2, to two, Calzaghe. And it doesn't appear that Jones can One see side. out of his left eye. No. He told oh. Aldrin Murkerson between rounds he would try to land some hooks. His left hook keeps sailing past Kalzaki's head. Max Kellerman is ready with Dr. Richard Lucy in the corner. Max, what's up? Dr. Lucy, how are you treating that terrible cut? Well, we started with adrenaline, then we put some Swarm in it. It was plugging it up with Aberdeen when, uh, when we're done. So we did 40 seconds worth of stuff here, and then everything we got was thrown in, in there. Do you feel you're in the right position and you have enough Working time to work on it? Don't hold yeah, I think go. so. Thank you. So the Jones corner believes they're doing all the right things. Bottom line is they have not been effective in stopping the bleeding. And Jones is badly compromised in the ring. This started along about the second round when the swelling started to show up above his eye. And to what degree, Emmanuel Stewart, is this simply a case of a fighter who's almost 40 years old? getting hit with punches he hasn't fought before. Well, I, I think a lot of it has to do with Joe Calzaghe. That's what a tremendous fighter. I think he's been fight. a very, maybe not beaten Roy in the time, but he's been a competitive fight for Roy and anyone. Very fight. smart fight. He makes tremendous adjustments, good chin, good good stamina. It's a very, very difficult guy to fight. But there's a lot of guys who punches, but they just run in. He goes in and out. He's very, very difficult to right there. See, he pulls back and... Uh, He'd always be a threat to Roy anyway. And therein lies the danger of fighting well past your prime. Yep. That people speculate, well, I don't know, maybe Calzaghe would have beaten Roy at his best. After all, we just saw him beat him. No one's walking through Joe Calzaghe, that's for yeah, sure. Go, but at his best, go, Roy was go. pretty special. Frank. No, he was very special. Though. But at this stage of his career, rough guy to fight. But this, this guy, I think, would have been a problem always. Bring it up, bring it up. A problem for anyone. And the fascinating thing is that at this point, Roy's We're only gonna, chance yeah, it would appear to win the fight is that he lands something huge and turns it all around by hurting Kalzaki, and Kalzaki's still giving him chances to do it. Kalzaki would be within his right right. in shutting down and holding his hands up and coasting to the finish, but he's giving the crowd a show. No, he's putting on a show still. I, I'm very disappointed with the way they're handling that cut. Nice one here. Worm hit. Yeah. One round for a row. Give me that bottle. Give me a bottle, man. I'm going to hit it. Come around to the tent. Buddy. Oh, you're going to be coming up, buddy. I'm going to hit it, Bill. Good boy, Mark. Again, the danger to Kalzaki here is that he gets caught with a counter. So what does he do? He throws 105 punches in the 10th round, making it clear that he doesn't care about the danger. Come on, guys, you gotta get a That's commendable. What I don't understand is why he continues to leave his hands down in front of Roy, because you can throw those punches and keep your guard up. Believe it or not, that's just part of his style. You see if he was training punch on the pants, he does it even on the pants, man. That's just his style. And he's very comfortable doing that. And he feels he has enough control over this fight now. In other words, if there's any fighter of the last 10 years who's as cocky and super confident as Roy Jones, it's Joe Calzaki. Yeah. And yet it gives Roy chances. Yes, it does. But Maybe I mean. that's what Joe thinks is the right thing to do. Maybe he is, in his way, showing respect for Jones's great reputation and record by saying to him, all right, look, I'm not going to back off. I'll fight in such a way that you've still got an opportunity here. And I'll beat you anyway. Very sporting of him, Jim. Don't hold, let go. Well, he is Welsh. I think he 
he's also, frankly, slowed Jones down to the point where basically he sees it coming. Yep. Yeah, he tell he has some help from Carl Anderson. He, he, was, he was doing this when Roy was real sharp in the beginning, so now, but when Roy fighting virtually without of one eye, he feels probably extremely comfortable. I think also, given that Roy at his best is the best fighter to fight in the weight class in which Calzaghe accomplished the most, super middleweight, Calzaghe's taking some pleasure in beating Roy Jones as Roy Jones would beat a fighter. He's out Roy Jones in Jones. And Jones is now talking full time. Impossible to tell what he's saying, but he's talking to Calzaghe the whole time. Probably something to the effect of, you can't knock me out. Probably something about making it to the finish line. Well, there's enough blood for this to be the St. Valentine's Day massacre, and maybe Roy is pulling a bit of a Jake LaMotta here. A reference to LaMotta versus Sugar Ray Robinson, and the line was... You never knocked me out, Ray. You never knocked me out. What a closing act for Joe Calzaki. If this holds up, and he, in fact, walks away. These pictures will be a part of ring history for years to come. And he's had a phenomenal career. He ends up doing what he's doing and beat two of our legendary greatest fighters here in America at the two biggest arenas, Las Vegas, New York. Never lost a fight. Phenomenal record. To beat Jones with Hopkins sitting at ringside after having beaten Hopkins with Jones sitting at ringside. Yep. Not a bad way to close it up. And beat two undefeated good fighters in Jeff Lacey and Mikhail Castro. Knock down the other one. Open the side. Oh, hold, hold, hold up, Doc. Open it, watch this. Open the lead or watch this side. Open it, watch this side. Okay. Now you talk. Yeah. Now you talk. Get it in there and let me hold some pressure, Doc. Don't. Yeah. And then check with the eight. Uh. Right? You with me now? Yeah. You're in me with me. Get a jab dominating. A jab. Let's cook the body. they've seen in Madison Square Garden tonight. Referee Hubert Earl has a shirt soaked with blood. Kalzaki and Jones still have respect for one another. Two guys who agreed via cell phone text messages to fight each other with a 50-50 split. Not about the money, about the pride. knows the only shot he has to win here is to land a home run punch. And he seems to be measuring Calzaghe to try at least one before the end of this round. You know, you, you, you couldn't really blame Calzaghe if he just stayed away and picked off the clock so to say this last round. I mean, he's got everything to lose and nothing to gain. In fact, Roy is moving in, but he's got to let some punches go. He's just getting in position, caution, but he won't let the punches go. He's got nothing to lose. And whatever he throws, he should throw with full power with either hand. But he's not punching. This is not one of those unpredictable scoring panels, of which we've seen a few in New York in recent years. This is Jerry Ross from Las Vegas, one of the most respected veteran judges in the game. Julie Letterman from here in New York, who is a top flight judge and a real expert. And Terry O'Connor of Wales is from Wales. So you don't expect Kalzaki to get upended by anything utterly unpredictable at the end of this one. No, Roy's going to have to do the upending. 
he hopes to win. So far, he, maybe he's thrown that maybe the second punch of the round. And Calzaki's walking in with his hands down and giving Roy every chance to land something big, but still dominating the action. Crowd wants Jones to try to do something. They should be thrilled that he's shown such courage as to finish the fight with that kind of blood on his face. He's got a lot of respect from a lot of fans tonight based on the performance, even though he's losing the fight. I think it's, it's really good that but enhance his, his respect from the fans still. Yeah, but what would enhance it even more, I think, is if in this last 45 seconds, he at least gave the impression that he was going all out to win. Yeah, and maybe Calzaghe shouldn't show both quite so much. Maybe Calzaghe should pay a little bit more respect than to take advantage of this to, to really try to embarrass Jones down the stretch. Just fight, Joe. You've made your point. Good body shots by both men. Jones takes one last home run swing, and Calzaghe drives him back with a couple of lows. for what might be the last time in the ring for both men. Just could be farewell. The scores are what we anticipate them to be, based on what you see there from Harold Letterman. Then Kalzaki's win over Jones will be in some ways a carbon copy of his win over Hopkins. Down in the first round, loses the first couple, and then swamps the opponent with greater activity. Unbelievable ability to recuperate from knockdowns and come back and win fights. Good dossier of uh, credible decisions in the past. Had Jones over Trinidad, 117-109. Very solid, predictable judge. Terry O'Connor from England, not from Wales. 11 title fights. None noteworthy enough for us to list them here. And Jerry Ross, as experienced as anybody, with 142 title fights in his background. Had Marquez... The leader over Pacquiao in their second fight, a fight barely won by Manny Pacquiao. So Harold Letterman gave the last 10 rounds of the fight to Kalzaki. It seems possible that a judge may have found one or two in there to give to Jones, but it's also possible that judges could have given the second round to Kalzaki. Other than that, it seems pretty cut and dried. And let's see if Kalzaki has made it to 46-0 as Michael Buffer reads the score. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Madison Square Garden, New York City, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Jerry Ross, Terry O'Connor, and Julie Letterman score the bout 118-109. To the winner by unanimous decision, the fighting pride of Newbridge, Wales, still light heavyweight champion of the world, Joe So it turns out all three official judges gave the second round to Kalzaki, and therefore, he wins the fight with an 11 round win streak after going down in the first. And from about the third or fourth round on, it had an air of inevitability. Why? Because Joe Kalzaki simply throws and lands so many more punches. Throwing 985 punches, more than anybody has ever unleashed against Jones in 32 fights counted by CompuBox. Landing 344 punches, more than 100 punches more than anyone has ever landed against Roy Jones in a fight counted by CompuBox. Ultimately landing at a 35% connect percentage. 
dominating the jab category. This has never been a big priority for Jones to try to land many jabs during the fight. It's always been purely a tactical weapon for him. And Kalzaki peppered him with the jab throughout. That's what helped to weaken the left eye and create the cut. And ultimately besting him in the power punch category too by throwing nearly 300 more power punches. So the Pride of Wales gets to 46 wins, no losses, and claims he'll stop there. Let's go to Max Kellerman in the red. Here with the whole Kalzagi family, it seems, minus your mom who's watching at home. Joe, you were dropped in the first round against Hopkins. You got up to win. You were down this time in the first round against Roy. You looked hurt this time. How hurt were you in that first round? Yeah, I was stunned. You know, he caught me with a good shot. Um, but that's what champions are all about. When I get put on the floor, I come back stronger. So when I go down, I just get upset, man, I'm pissed. So at the end of the day, you know, it's, a, it's an honor fighting Roy Jones. You know, uh, the guy's a wicked fighter and uh, he's still causing a lot of trouble. And um, it's great to share a ring with Roy tonight. Um, I have to thank my family, obviously, uh, my dad, everybody. <laughs> Joe, Joe, here's the first round knockdown. Watch it. You, you can comment as you watch. Tell us what was going through your mind. Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't see the punch coming, hence why I went on the floor, man. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. You know, I thought deja vu, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, this is the fourth time I've been down to come back strong. I composed myself. I just boxed. And uh, I felt I boxed uh, a good fight. Can I just say thanks for all you guys coming from Wales to Britain tonight? You spared me on. I hope you enjoyed the fight. I love you all. Joe, given the fact that Roy demonstrated his power early, why did you then, throughout the fight, fight him right in front of him with your hands down? Um, that's my style, man. Is that sometimes I feel more relaxed with my hands by my side. You know, I got great reflexes, and I'm great at reading opponents. And I was slipping and sliding. I was weary after the first round of his right hand and left hook. But I felt that with my hands down, I'm giving him different angles and combination punches, which is my style. It's very, very hard to fight my style because I have many styles. <laughs> it seems almost as though you were trying to out Roy Jones, Roy Jones, watching him from afar across the Atlantic through his prime. Did you have those kind of thoughts that you wanted to fight somewhat like him? No, it just, you know, I've always, I remember watching Roy in the Olympics and I've always loved this style, I love the way he fights. And I know I can fight with them sort of fast hand combinations. He might sort of fight. That's why I felt today would be a great, uh, a good fight to watch, you know, because we both throw combinations. I'm just so, so happy. You know, thank God for this fight. You know, thank everybody. I'm just, um, I'm just overwhelmed, man. I'm just so happy. Joe, you now, you're undefeated. You are now vying with Lennox Lewis for greatest European fighter of all time. You have Roy Jones' name on your resume, the way Lennox finally got Mike Tyson's. What's the future? I'll have to sit down and think about it. This could be my last fight. Uh, I won't make a final decision yet. I'll just uh, have to go over and, uh, and, and sit down and have a, take a bit of a break and just evaluate the situation. But I'd just uh, like to thank Roy for fighting tonight. We've, we've done this fight by ourselves. And, you know, we were foes tonight, but it, Roy will always be my friend, man. I have much res respect for the guy. Joe, finally, before we get to Roy, you have demonstrated your greatness through by beating your contemporaries and the great names of this era, and there's always the next guy. However, in this case, there really is a guy out there with a mandate to fight the light heavyweight champ. He's undefeated, he's young. Given Pavlik's loss to Hopkins, the one guy left is Chad Dawson. Do you have anything to say about Chad Dawson? I think you wasted talent, man. You should be a promoter. <laughs> you should be a promoter. Uh, what can I say? There's always, obviously, there's always someone young and never coming through. Same with Lacey, same with Kessler. You know, I've beaten two legends this year in, in, uh, in um, Hopkins, an even bigger, bigger legend in Roy Jones. I've fought them both in the States. I think I showed everybody that I'm not just fight at home. I took the risk to come to Vegas. I come to New York. And thank you so much to my fans. I love you, man. Well, if this is the last fight of your career, Joe, thank you for a spectacular career. It was a pleasure to watch. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Light heavyweight champion, Joe Calzaghi. Now, Roy, you had him hurt, down and hurt in the first round. What were you thinking at that moment? Well, my, first of all, I want to say thank you to all my fans for coming out to support me. I thank y'all all. Y'all been wonderful fans for my whole career. I thank y'all for all coming out to support me. Um, Tusk Cole in the house, as always. 
what happened was when I knocked him down, I had two plans I couldn't make up my mind I was going to do. I wanted to go at him. You know, I didn't want to go at him, but I saw a punch too big after I heard him with the big shot trying to get him again. And I got out of my fight game. We've never seen you cut like this ever. Uh, was this an issue of, and, and, and we'll show you a replay here. Yeah. Tell us what you see. He caught me with a good shot, but that ain't what I cut. I think he caught with the right hook that cut my eye. And he caught with the right hook right behind my glove. It cut my eye. I was like, whoa. It was the first time I've ever been cut. I was like, oh, my goodness. But um, I'm game. You know, I love fighting. I don't care. I'm going to fight to the end always. And uh, I, I still gave it my best effort. But the guy was a better man tonight. I got out of my game plan, and he won. So congratulations to him. When you were in your, at your best, no one ever won. No one ever came close to winning. And now, whether it's because punches are landing or because the skin is not as elastic as when you were younger, you're being cut, you are fighting valiantly, yet in a losing effort. Is this finally the end of Roy Jones, or will there be more? Well, I don't, I'm not sure. I'll go back and talk to my team, talk to my family, see how I feel. Um, if I feel good, I'll continue to fight. If I don't feel good, I won't fight no more. But the good thing about it is I'm game to the, fin to the finish. Uh, we got a new president. I'm very glad of that. Uh, I came. I did my best. I gave my all. Joe fought a smarter fight than me tonight. He's a better man tonight. Is there a measure of redemption for especially the Glenn Johnson fight where you seem disinterested? By the way you fought, you kept mentioning you, you gave it your all. You did. You continued to seem to try to win in spite of the long odds once you were cut. Do you feel a, find a measure of redemption in the way you fought tonight? Uh, yeah, I do find a measure of redemption. I still went 12 rounds with a cut even. I still beat adversity. Uh, coming back from what I came from is very difficult. Not many fighters can come back from being all three losses in a row and get themselves back to a top fight. I brought myself all the way back and got back to the top and competed against the best fight out that day, and that is somewhat redemption for me. I uh, thank God for, like I said, for keeping me in good health. I like to say, hey, everybody, punch Cola, sorry I didn't put it off, but I tried. Punch Cola's still in the house. Y'all still my number one fans. Thank y'all all in New York for supporting me. Thank everybody who came, and God bless y'all all. Tremendous performance, especially considering we're talking to almost a 40-year-old. Roy, congratulations if this is the end on a spectacular career. Thank you very much.